Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm sharing with you guys a queso recipe. So in my last video, the fall haul video, I talked about this queso recipe that we have been making and our whole family loves. It is so delicious. Unfortunately, we can't really take credit for it. It's not our recipe. Um, the spice company that we buy, like all of our barbecue and meat spices and rubs and stuff from, it's called Meat Church. <laughs> this is actually their recipe. So I will put a link down below in the description box where you can check out um, their YouTube channel and everything. And this is not sponsored. This is just where we buy all of our uh, spices and everything from meat, barbecue, uh, rubs and stuff. Super delicious. And this is their recipe and we made it, we tried it and it was so good. Our whole family loves it. So I thought I would make it for you guys today and show you how easy it is. It's quick in terms of like the prep to make it is pretty quick and then you just cook it for 45 minutes. So uh, it's not like a, a 10 minute thing, but it's, worth every minute of those 45 minutes that it takes um, to cook. So I'm gonna share that with you guys today, this delicious queso recipe. It is so, so good and it makes a ton. We eat on it for days. Um, yeah, it's, it's so delicious. So yeah, let me show you how to make this yummy queso. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is grab a pan to cook up your sausage in, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and preheat the oven. I will have the instructions listed down below in the description box, but I think it's 375. So you're gonna need two cans of Rotel and a can of cream of mushroom soup, and then you're gonna want a package of hot pork sausage. Trust me, it's good in this. And then you're gonna want uh, some Gouda cheese. I'll have the amounts listed down below and a block of Velveeta, which I don't normally like, but for this, it's perfect. And then I am using the Holy Cow barbecue rub. So that is so good from the meat church. So the first thing you're gonna do is just brown up and cook up the sausage. You just wanna cook it all the way through. I don't cry when it rains no more or I get dirt on my shoes. I don't mind climbing eight more floors Cause these stairs are all heading to you All right, the next step of this crazy easy queso recipe um, is to cut up the cheese and you're just going to want to cut this hunk of Velveeta into smaller squares so that everything can mix and melt together in the Dutch oven a lot easier. So I cut mine into, I don't know, one to two inch cubes. So nothing fancy, just break it up. All right, so once you've got your Gouda and your Velveeta cheese all in there, now you're going to uh, pour the cooked sausage right on over the top. And then of course, you're gonna wanna add in your can of cream of mushroom soup, as well as both cans of Rotel and then you're going to give it a nice and robust sprinkling of your barbecue seasoning on top of that. Now comes the fun part, of course, of mixing it all together into this lovely, <laughs> kind of strange looking concoction. And then you're going to pop it in the oven. It's really that simple. So this will cook for about 45 minutes, but basically every 15 minutes, you need to pull it out and stir it up and basically make sure that everything is all mixed together. 
And then while it's in the oven for that last 15 minutes, I just go ahead and chop up some fresh cilantro to put on the top. And then I also usually top it with um, just some fresh pico. This is just store-bought pico on top and cilantro on top of that. And it is so, so good. it like I said it is very simple to make uh, but it packs a big punch it tastes so good and if you made it like for guests or for a party or something people would think that you put a lot of effort in and made a really fantastic uh, queso that tastes like it came from uh, I don't know a specialty restaurant or something and not just like store-bought queso it's so good so try it let us know if you try it let me know on instagram or over on facebook uh, let us know if you try it i always like to hear when you guys try recipes that we share and we are going to be sharing more recipe videos i know how much you guys love those and a lot of you guys have requested saying that you miss seeing the cooking videos and the recipe videos so we are going to get back on that and start making some more of those so subscribe if you've not already stay tuned more to come but that is it for today i hope you all enjoy and i will see you guys again very soon mm -hmm.